What's up guys? Today we'll be talking about how to set up a prayer corner. So we'll be taking a tour of our little house and uh, just go over kind of what that setup looks like. Um, since recently getting married, our prayer corner is the first thing we set up in our house. We had Father Herman come and bless it and it's the most intimate space in our house. I'll show you a couple of ex examples of how to set up a prayer corner. You don't have to set up your prayer corner this way, it's just the way I'm recommending to give you some ideas for depth of connection, but everyone's prayer corner looks different sometimes, especially at home, and um, it should be, you know, special to you. Of course, you can pray anywhere. Uh, an icon corner is just a special space set aside for God. You can also set up icons outside. Um, you can pray without icons. You can pray next to a stream by taking a walk, praying the Jesus prayer. I'm just highlighting the classic ways the Orthodox Church has developed over time. They aren't hard and fast rules. Um, for example, some saints prayed laying down, looking up at the sky. This is just one way that will help us set up a reverent space uh, to connect to God in a personal way. Um, but again, your prayer space should be comfortable and your own, so you can add your own special touches. So I'm going to just uh, show you a couple examples of the prayer corners we have in our house. Um, around here. So here we have an icon of Christ, it's usually in the right. All these um, examples are what we also have in the church. Um, so Christ is on the right, uh, the Theotokos is on the left. The patron saint of the church or of your house um, can be on the left. Um, it just kind of designates a special place. Um, our St. Vincent icon is on the left, um, and other saints can be on the right that are special to us. So um, my this is the icon of our patron saint, St. John Maximovich, and this is St. John the Merciful, who's my um, patron saint. Um, and then I even put, uh, well, St. Anastasia, but I also put um, the saint of the day for the whole week. Um, all the way through here and then on Saturdays we especially remember um, the dead or the departed and so for Saturday I have uh, a picture here so Gregor Palam Palamas was last Sunday uh, St. Patrick was on I think Tuesday um, Fotini is today the woman at the well and um, then I have my church supplies here that um, you use for um, lighting a candle, um, charcoal and a charcoal bowl, um, and incense for putting on your charcoal. So let's just see another space that we have here. So there you have Christ on the right, Theotokos on the left, St. John Maximovich, St. John the Merciful, and here's where you can kind of add your own special touches. Um, we have um, kind of an altar set up for the saints of marriage. This is the wedding in Cana. Um, there's Joachim and Anna, who are a good example of married life. Um, and then we have kind of everything we need for um, prayer. Uh, this is our prayer book, prayer of the hours the Psalter, uh, the Bible. So those are good things to have at your prayer corner. We also have um, other prayer books here. We've got, you know, a special place where we keep uh, matches, incense, you know, just a good storage space. We've got acathists in here for special days and, yeah, other service books, you know, that you might use throughout the year. Um, maybe spiritual book area. And up here we have some different hymns um, to our patron saints that we sing at the end of our prayer service. I'll go over um, how to have a prayer rule and where to place kind of properly the tropars to the saint of the day and your patron saint. Um, so those are just a couple of the examples. Uh, I'm going to turn my face back around. And uh, I just want to say like that in general, um, it's in human nature to set up um, kind of altars. Um, in the Old Testament, God um, told Moses and 
Abraham to set up um, altars just out of piles of stones and um, you know uh, today we have icons we um, we set up those but we set up altars in other ways to all kinds of things for example I have a little prayer area for um, friends and family um, at the top you know um, Anastasia and I my mom and dad my niece um, and my brother is back there climbing with me and then I have some friends that I like to pray for so um, I, I uh, like to have kind of a, a space where I can visualize praying for other people um, so when I was younger when I was like 10 years old or so I um, when my grandmother had passed away I I didn't even know about orthodoxy yet but it was just kind of in my nature I um, I wrote a piece of scripture on a rock, you know, kind of like a pet rock, and uh, there was like a ceramic squirrel that she had given me at one point, and I put flowers um, in a vase next to it, and um, it just made a special space, and I wasn't Orthodox yet, but it, like I said, it's in our human nature to set up beautiful areas for us to worship God, and um, it's uh, a good thing to do, so... Anyway, um, just a few more things about prayer space and things you might like to have in it. Um, here's some uh, drawings and uh, icons that I've been working on. Um, David and um, kind of a metal prayer art thing that a friend gave me. And uh, an icon of Christ that I'm working on. The other... Um, area of, of schooling that I'm in other than youth ministry is iconography so hopefully I can get a little better at that and um, uh, here's a calendar for the saints of the day um, you can see if I'm pointing my camera right that we are here St. Potini and then what's coming is the uh, veneration of the cross on Sunday um, if we we're all gathered together that day. Uh, you know, you might set up a cross ahead of time or um, afterwards to celebrate special feasts. So all those um, saint icons I showed you earlier, the saint of the day, um, I set those all up in advance or as I go along day by day. And I like to keep them up for a whole week just because I like to continue to think about them. And um, for feasts, it's a good way to kind of remind yourself that there's a special celebration coming up or that has just happened and again you like to kind of linger on it in the church you know in the cycles of things they constantly commemorate feasts that have happened for a day before and after or for you know whole seasons you know like lent or dedicate to pascha or advent for christmas so Anyway, so we set up visual reminders of those things, you know, um, just to help us remember what we're doing, and uh, uh, that's all I'll say today. I think I've gone on long enough. Um, so send me pictures if you want to of um, prayer spaces that you have at, at your house, um, especially your personal prayer corner. Um, if you set one up kind of like I have, especially with kind of the specs of you know christ on the right the autocos on the left and you know kind of you put some thought and effort into it and you want to send me a picture of it i've got special prizes for that um i think this one is either a oil lamp candle or a beeswax candle um and perhaps i'll throw in kind of a small um icon that you could add to your prayer corner too so if you um want to join me in setting up a prayer corner um, then I will reward you so all right guys hope you have a good day bye